Grounding systems are there to allow for the quick detection of faults and to protect equipment and personnel from danger. The main concerns when dealing with people are touch potentials and step potentials. Let's look at touch potential first. Touch potential is the voltage that may be applied between a person's hands and feet. This normally occurs when someone touches something that is live with their hands, when they are stood on the earth, which has zero volts. Touch potential is of particular concern, as current flows from the hand, across the heart and down the legs. This can cause cardiac arrest. Everyone has a different resistance depending on their body shape. But experiments have been done to show the maximum current that the human body can withstand across the heart before damage or cardiac arrest occurs. This can be as low as 30 milliamps for some people. The other main parameter is step potential, which is the voltage that may be applied between a person's feet when they are one metre apart. This normally occurs inside a substation, when a large fault happens and we have lots of currents flowing into the ground, raising the ground potential to a high level. This can create differences in the voltage appearing on each foot. This situation is less dangerous than touch potential, as the current flows up one leg and down the other, instead of flowing across the heart, but it can lead to persons falling over and hurting themselves. 